Or he won't, and other people will instead. What am I going to do? The thoughts tumbled around her brain, each so close to the one before she couldn't keep them straight. Panic and fear trembled in her chest. In the end, she bailed on her classes for two solid days. She just sat there, curled up in an armchair in her room, staring off into space. Ron and Harry moved in and out of her vision, and she did not really listen to anything they said. Finally, she threw up magical shields around her and tuned everything out. She had to think. She needed to work it out. Think, god damn you. Ugh, too far, too far, too far. Pulling out a pen and several pieces of paper, she started working on the arithmancy. Is that what that is? Arith- There's an N. Arithmancy? Arithmancy? No, that's how they spelled in the book, too, and I've never known how to pr- pronounce it. Arithmancy. There's an N. Arithmancy? I don't know. Whatever. Just pronounce it five different times, and one of them will be right. Um, <laughs> figures. No matter what she did, the array of patterns for the future remained the same. Death and destruction for everyone she cared about. She threw them in the fire and began to pace. You're missing something. Just like you overlooked Lucius' emotion. Lucius' emotion. Ah! She had the emotion, what? Sorry. I'm so proud of you, girl. It's right here. Good job, good job. She doesn't overlook. Okay, I'm sorry. No more Eden references. I'm Shh. Done. No more Eden. It's, it's just a bad dream. What? No, it's the dream. Shh. It's the reality. Just like you overlooked Lucius's emotions when you, when you did your earlier calculations, a tiny thought niggled at the back of her mind, and she ignored it, trying to let it bloom fully. Finally, she stopped staring into space, rolling the idea over and over in her mind. Holy shit, that might work. I never picture Hermione saying stuff like that. Me too. That's okay, I didn't picture her murdering Draco Malfoy either. Uh, I can see that. Yeah. She raped him and then murdered him. That's very true. Anyway. Oh, she just got what she wanted out of his dick and then he <laughs> <laughs> And that's not rape. Wait, did she enjoy it at some point? <laughs> that's very true. I don't know, but I mean, like, she was on the downers, so it's okay. <laughs> Only Justification the, the of rape right there. <laughs> I swear to God, Eden. Okay, reading Eden, you have to justify all sorts of shit in your mind for that not to be so fucked up. And that's not sick? Just that's why I didn't like that fanfiction, man. I'm just gonna... Anyway, I, hate oh, I wanted to read the next chapter. <sighs> that's where she does serious shit. Anyway, um, she sat down and ran the calculations again. The possible future... The possible path the future could take wriggled in entirely new patterns, paths full of choice. She blinked. Who would have thought something so small could make such a difference? Hermione burned the pa- paper and the pen. No need to leave. Don't they use? Don't they use quills? Yeah. Whatever. It's a quill. Shh. No need to leave it lying about for anyone to spell out its secrets. She dropped the shield. A plan in place. It wasn't ro- rock solid, and she would have to do a great deal of research, but it had possibilities. And by all the gods, she was going to finish what she started. Don't they say Merlin? Yeah. By all the gods. Especially Talos. I only worship Talos. (laughs) (laughs) Then she... Then she threw the dark dorm room. Fair enough. Fair enough. (laughs) Down into the kitchen and ate enough food to kill a horse. Yay. End of chapter two. Yeah. Woo! 18 minutes.